Hey guys, this is Dr. JTM, the general medicine and a rheumatology resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and the first episode of Power Revision Neat PG has already been posted and the response is good. I thank you very much because these topics which I am going to discuss in the Power Revision are really really important and they will also be aligned with respect to the new patterns of MCQs that is being asked in the last 2 to 3 years. So do not miss it. every episode simplified way you will be learning a very very important topic. So if you haven't watched the first episode, go watch the first episode and also if you haven't subscribed yet first subscribe and then watch it and without any delay let's get into the second episode Episode 2 of Power Revision Videos for Neat PG and the question comes this way. 30 year old female who presents with weeks of crampy abdominal pain, low grade fever, weight loss, watery diarrhea, anal pain, oral after ulcers and joint pain. On examination she has perianal fissuring, lab shows positive fecal calprotectin and elevated ESR, CRP and anemia. Yes, this has been a very long question but as usual what are the points that my eye should go on to. So my eyes will be on the abdominal pain, watery diarrhea, after ulcers and joint pains. Remember that. And also he specified that perianal fissures are there, fecal calprotectin test is positive, ESR, CRP, the inflammatory markers are also positive and raised and anemia is present. Then it, it looks like something inflammatory is going on and the features are abdominal. So GI related inflammatory with perianal fissures, fecal calprotectin being the clickbait here. So what can be the answer? The most probable answer is inflammatory bowel disorder and inflammatory bowel disorder also we need to catch up on what is the specificity the Crohn's or ulcerative it mostly looks like Crohn's disease why because he is saying there is watery diarrhea abdominal pain calprotectin is positive and ESR CRP elevated with anemia of chronic disease because inflammatory type most probable cause will be Crohn's disease of so majorly the colonoscopy with mucosal biopsy of terminal ileum will give you an appropriate diagnosis in the case of Crohn's disease terminal ileum will be your MCQ and acute flare is there in a Crohn's disease patient you have to go for 5 ASA if it is a mild case but if there is any severity is present go for second immunosuppressant like oral steroids based on your colonoscopy findings so if a treatment was asked as an MCQ as acute flare do remember these points and maintenance therapy the immunomodulators being used nowadays are mercaptopurin not here not in India azathioprine methotrexate the beautiful drug that will be working in this Crohn's disease patients and if you want if the patient is being relapsed or the patient is in advanced stage you can go for biologics like anti TNF alpha inhibitors anti integrin anti interleukin 12 and 23 inhibitors jack inhibitors like upadacitinib this is the latest guideline that has been added into Crohn's disease and that drug is up which has been doing wonders in the case of Crohn's whereas it comes to ulcerative colitis there is one more drug that is present comment down what is that wonder drug that is helping the patients of Crohn's and ulcerative colitis the clue is it is a jack inhibitor and available in India so bowel resection in complicated cases of fistulizing diseases and abscess is present or obstructive strictures and malignancy is present so these are all the complications uh, in and around the Crohn's disease patient so if that is there then you have to go for bowel resection increased risk of colon and small bowel cancer IBD in IBD Crohn's and ulcerative colitis among these both which has the highest propensity to develop small bowel cancers or colon cancers it is Crohn's disease that has high propensity to develop the colon and small bowel cancer this is an MCQ for you again and when it comes to the power revision come on quickly the Crohn's disease anywhere from mouth to anus except Rectum. Most commonly ileocecal area is the most common place for Crohn's. It is an MCQ again. On colonoscopy, what are the features that describe the Crohn's disease? Skip lesions will be present. Very, very important uh, point when uh, it can be given in the question itself and linear ulcerations, cobble stoning, transmural inflammation, entire thickness of the bowel and non-cachiating granulomas are also present which is, which is again a classical uh, point that can be asked in the question. And extra intestinal manifestations what are the extra intestinal manifestations very 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 important erythema nodosum pyoderma gangrenosum skin lesions uveitis most common eye feature anterior uveitis is most common again seronegative arthritis will be present the patient will be present with either back pain or knee swelling either unilaterally or bilaterally and patient very rarely presents into ILD don't need to remember that so what will be the nutrient deficiencies vitamin B12 fat soluble vitamins niacin zinc and fat malabsorption will also be present which results in 
cholesterol galston formation now obviously because in the crohn's disease the intrahepatic bile circulation will be affected and there is a high chance of formation of calcium oxalate kidney stones and smoking is one of the poor prognostic factor in ibd and particularly in crohn's disease that is also one more important mcq that can be asked and that is it for today today's topic is also very very important definite question will be coming i hope you have all liked it if you have liked it please 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 subscribe to the channel and if you have any uh, you know inputs that you wanted something like this or something that way or something this way all the opinions are accepted please do comment down and let me know how well you are liking this kind of approach uh, towards uh, the revision part when it comes to the revision part for neat pg and i'll be back with third episode tomorrow see you all again this is dr jt signing off